In this class, we are going to learn how to create a custom object and consume the custom object in your App UI application. First of all, you have to launch your App UI workspace or the application which you are working on. So one of the way is configuration and click on this visual builder. Second is we need to create the sandbox. Click on this sandbox under the configuration in your fusion instance. Click on this create sandbox. Here, uh, let me name this as test 1000 underscore zero one here i would be needing the application composer if you need you can add structure as well which is of uh, no use here only application composer you can add and click on create and enter next you have to click on tools click on application composer it will open the application composer view over here next you have to select the application i will select uh, erp scm cloud because all the redwood applications when we publish it will be under the fscm so i'm going for this scm cloud expand this custom object over here click on the plus we will create a new custom object let me name this as abc underscore one zero zero one underscore zero one so accordingly if you want to change the numbers you can change a record data type if you want to add a sequence number like what we have in a table in a atb table or something if you want to create the identifier with the unique number we create a sequence or with the identifier it is similar like that i'm keeping this default and click on ok uh, once the custom object has been created if you just scroll down it will show up over here or else it will show at the top either of the place it will show click on the fields i will quickly create the fields custom object we had covered in detail in our earlier classes so you can have a look at those classes I will create couple of fields. So custom object in short are nothing but like a table what we have in our database similar like that custom objects will be a table in fusion. So you can create field something like this of type and you can store the data like how we used to store with the table. So this is the first field I'm creating clicking on save and close. I will create one more field of type number or again test only I will create click on OK. Here I will name this as field 02. I am keeping everything as default. So name it will automatically take. We are concentrating on creating the custom object and we are going to consume it in the app UI. So we need to include all the fields whatever we create in the service payload if they are required. Suppose if you want to query these fields in the API then we can check mark this searchable. If we need this field to be always present like if you are creating a table to store the supplier then the supplier id is must to be stored so in that case you can check mark this required in case when you are trying to create with your app ui any entry into this custom object and if you have marked any field as required and if you are not sending then at that time your creation call will be rejected by this fusion instance suppose if you want to index this then you can click on this index click on save and close once you have created all the fields click on this parent custom object over here then you can see this custom object which we have created just now. What we need to do is we need to get this service that is the describe link or you can just have a service link as well in order to create the API. Provided you should be knowing what are the HTTP methods it is supporting and the payload. With the help of describe it will automatically create all the resources required to consume in the API. Head over to the API, go to the service connection. Also I will open the inspect tab over here side by side, open the network done next what i will do is i will click on the service connection i will tell define by a specification over here i will select from here adf describe because the link what we copied is the adf describe url next i will tell this as the custom object and here i will provide the link if you want to download all you can copy full specification from here click on create so it is trying to fetch now if you look at the network tab over here it has made a call that is this one if you see describe so it has pulled all the information let me just click the parent and i will add all the apis available for this custom object basically you will be needing those object that is to get all the records create a entry that is delete a record in a custom object get a single record and update the record also if you are using custom object to store the attachments then you can make use of this that is to store the files and other smart actions and all are there which i'm not going into this in this class suppose if you want to go for a bulk update or bulk creation then you can go for this apis that is you can make use of this create and you can create hundreds of records in a one go using this batch click on create 
so it will automatically add all the endpoints over here so one more thing to note over here is i have made use of this describe over here in order to consume suppose if you have published the sandbox already then what you can do is you can go to this service connection over here go from the catalog suppose if you have already published your sandbox or that is the custom object after creating the custom object you have published the sandbox then all the apis will be visible over here under the catalog so you can make use of that as well no need to go for the adf discard that will be very convenient one more thing is in few of the fusion instances when you just copy paste your url over here by selecting this one just make sure what is the url it is sending in order to fetch the specification that is the describe url in few of the fusion instances what it does is it is sending dot com slash your custom object name or describe so like this it sends so which is not correct now once you have created your service connection next thing is you have to consume this in your application so for that what you can do is you can go with the lengthy method as well I'm, i will go for the easiest method expand the services whatever custom objects you have created it will be visible over here next i will tell i want to create that is i want to create a record here what i will do is i will drop it and i will tell create form it is and in the request i want user to fill record name field 2 and the field 1 click on finish also i want to have a look at all the data available in the custom object for that what i will do is i will drop this get many as well in my table drag and drop it over here and tell this is as a table and i want to show your field 1 field 2 and the record name click on next and click on finish as we have created this custom object freshly in this class so we won't see any records as of now what i will do is i will enter few details 100 so this is 100 0 2 and 100 0 3 and click on save our record got created successfully now i will enter view details over here in order to insert into the database now this is our record name i will tell here record 0 0 3 and click on save we will get a message like oh, it is ignored because i think i have already created the record with this same name earlier while testing click on save so this time i'm getting a message like the record got saved successfully so you cannot give the duplicate records having the same record name because here if you see in our custom object at the time of creation we had selected that prevent duplicate entries that is like this so it is avoiding the duplicate entries now we have created one more table which will show the details of all the data available in the custom object which will be available in the table i will refresh the page here if you see i am getting all the details whatever i have entered with this form now this is how we can create a custom object and consume in the app ui one more thing when you publish your app ui you have to make sure that under the roles and secretary you have to go for the custom object roles over here that is this one custom object roles that is click on this here you will see your custom object created you have to make sure what kind of access you want to give and you can assign this custom object role to that particular person or the user whom you want to give access to this particular custom object also you can create a custom role something like this and you can provide the access to the custom object of your choice i will click on one of this over here here if you see this custom object role which they have created using which you can give access to a particular resource over here now one more thing is if you have created the sandbox you can just click the publish sandbox over here click on publish it will publish all the changes which you have done on the fusion like you have created a custom object in this fusion instance and also you have modified the access roles for that custom object over here under the roles and security now once you are published you won't have access to check the custom objects and all you you will be able to modify the custom object at the rules only when the sandbox session is active 